What's up, guys? Welcome back here, and today we are playing Trash Distributor. Uh, Card got nerfed uh, recently. Now he doesn't get buffed, is how I understand it. Um, I'm drawing it out not in a traditional aggro deck, but in this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's just going to be silly and fun and... Honestly, I'm all for it. The deck looks really interesting. And yeah. Anyways, I don't have much else to say. So how about we queue up the first game, All right, guys? Yeah, I'll see y'all in it. As the game pops, I'm walking back to my desk with a beverage and I fucking need a chair. Um. Alright. Uh, honestly, the soft looks okay. Um. I'm trying to pull my chair back to where it needs to be. Uh. Alright. My toes are. Fucking freezing. <laughs> uh, I think I just small this and I keep the rest. I don't know why my feet are so cold. Normally my feet are like melting, but right now my feet are frozen. Feels very weird. Uh... Okay, well that's an uh, interesting draw. Uh, is this spell damage? Or big? I mean, one or the other, really. But those are the only two options we have. This is so much less good now. It's kind of insane. I did three less damage here. This is a nerf. Let's calculate. Like in a game where we're being clearly the super aggressor, we're at three less. We're now at eight less. He'd be at nine health right now. If treasure distributor wasn't nerfed. That is insane how much slower this is, but I think it's going to help a lot. Is nine health like being at 17 versus nine. is huge oh it's it's definitely big Flush beneath the endless thighs. Oh. he has to kill the four right can't afford to kill the sugar right here all right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so we dealt eight less damage. Ah, oh, fuck. I should have traded that in first. So what I said, I said eight. Ah, oh, eight, and then it would just be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, 8 less damage. So now we're at 16 less damage. Yeah, he was dead here last turn if he didn't. That's insane. It's actually insane. He was dead. Straight up Morte. Nothing left to fucking do. To be fair here, I should have another 2-1. I, I fucked up. If played things in a better order, I would have another 2-1 here. But yeah. So I feel like this nerf is going to hurt a lot for the deck. Or for the aggro decks in general. I'm just dead no matter what, I think. Uh, We're two turns off this. But I think I'm just dead here, right? 
That's eight times three. Oh my god, I have hiccups. It's an eight times three is twenty-four. Now he has a taunt. It's hard to go around the taunt. Um, is it impossible though? No, but I, I think I actually think Big Shaman's gonna be in a better position now uh, than it was. Uh, there's nothing I can draw here, right? No. Interesting. All right. Well. So that's, I guess, good to know overall. Like, the card definitely does feel weaker uh, than he did. Alrighty. Well, it's time for the next one. All right. I'll see you guys all there. All right. I have not drawn this card as much or as consistently in my life. All right, all right. But yeah, no, it's it's interesting. I feel like this nerf is going to hurt a lot of decks. In my opinion, a lot of decks are going to get hurt by it. And I think I play this slow, a little slower. I can get draws here. Um. Next time he plays a minion, prep this out. Gonna eat something as well as draw. What is that? Draw three? Four mana draw three for some. Yeah. I have a feeling this card is also gonna start seeing a little bit more play. It's pretty strong, all things considered. Uh, I'm gonna not waste the charge of my weapon. Maybe I can get a better trade in later. Uh, yeah, well, that's not what I was hoping to see. Ooh, we have both of them. Package right for treasure transport. That's I'm just gonna do this here, it's fine. Again, yeah, I'm gonna save the charge of my weapon for later. To be fair, it is pretty good to eat. Um... They're off from ooze, which really sucks, but to be fair. Oh, he didn't go for the ooze. Not hard for the ooze is actually pretty darn good for me. Never bring a sword to a beach by pirates away. Ooh, treasure to sugar. I could have done it in the opposite order. I'll be honest, and I know that. The reason I didn't. And I feel like the reasoning behind why I did it makes some amount of sense. Um, I could have drawn patches, and drawing patches meant that I had just one less dude on the board, therefore a little bit less pressure, therefore a little bit worse overall. Uh, is this ready? Not when I play this, this is going to be ready. I want to draw Shadow Step, Shadow Step, if I'm being honest. It's probably the best... Mmm, that's so good for him. That was the best draw on his deck, I'm pretty sure, and I think it's a one of. It it has to be a one of. It has to be a one off for the sole reason that he's playing Book of Spectres, and I feel like there's very, very few Oh, I mean it has to be a one off is a Zephyrus, but it typically means there's to be very, very few actual, um, Who knows what secrets will uncover? Now this is treasure. One, two. You seem overburdened. Look, I am here. Uh, it's just jack four cards from his hand. I could have jacked his minion, but I can kill off his minion here pretty easily. 
this with this. Uh, no, that's one, two, three. Uh, is it actually just play this? Yeah, just be play that. It has to just be this. I know this slows me down because his weapon is going to be fireballing me in the dome every single fucking turn, which really, really sucks, but... It is what it is. Oh, I'm jack the rest of his hand. Alive, which is very, very important here. First, I hit the bad one. Oh my god, I hit the bad one again. Uh... I guess there's gonna be two, which really sucks, so it doesn't kill it. Alright. Well, yeah, he gains a lot of health here, which is really obnoxious. I guess I spend two mana on a hero power and brand, right? Brand dodge it. Brand dodged the last one. Fuck. I thought I could get away with Brand just dodging everything. Would have been nice. Secret. Don't hang up. Okay. That sucks. Um, you just put this there. Uh, that really sucks. I want to play this. Uh, and just spam take their supplies. Yeah, that's a good hit for me. I mean, we could have gone there, right? Which would have been a lot worse. Ooh, this shot's at 7 drop now. Beep, beep, beep. This treasure ain't big for our pirate. I'll put this on spell, I guess. Uh, I guess I should have. Yeah, just better. Uh, I'll do this here. If he wants to spend three turns zero power on this, or two turns zero power on this, I'm fine with that. This is on spell. Yeah. We're gonna start taking his cards from his deck. This is such an interesting, um... Are you serious? My hand is all minions. Ah, I'll take that. This is a good one. Uh, I'll tell you. <laughs> this is the weirdest but coolest aggro rogue deck.
that I've played in some time. Uh, I feel like I said nothing throughout this entire game, uh, but I really like it. I really, I really, really fuck with it. Um. Anyways, I guess let's queue up the next one. All right, guys. Yeah, I'll see y'all there. All right. <clears throat> if this is quest line, we have the advantage due to playing the aggressive deck. Um, so it should be interesting. Also, um, I wanted to to ask, uh, how do you? How did you guys like? Sorry, I had a hiccup. How did you guys like the extra little bonus video that went out yesterday? Um, it's, it's still, to me, it's so weird that, I don't know how to put it. I feel like I need to start doing better jobs at looking at the decks before I build them. Um, by that I mean... That's one, two, three, four. Yeah. By what I mean by I need to do better look, a better job at looking at them before I build them, or I try them out, is that those the whole thing is just like I'm like, oh, I want to play Odin Warrior. I clicked on an Odin Warrior deck. I'm like, all right, it has Marin in it. Let's go. And then I never looked at the rest of the deck. I just checked to see if the deck had Marin in it. That was a mistake. Uh, clearly. Um, but, I mean, at least I got a pretty good game out of it, so I gotta at least upload what I did record with it. Um, and tell me if you guys would like to see more of that, because I have been contemplating, uh, just playing off recording. I'm just playing wild off recording just because I want to play more ladders sometimes. And I'm like, you know what, maybe if I do that, I'll just record it. And I'll upload them as little bonus videos whenever I feel like I have a good game. And then maybe I'll do some, like, commentary over it later on or something like that. I'm, I'm not quite sure. I just want to know how you guys liked it. Also, by the way, I don't think I said it yet, but I hope you guys all have a, a beverage. Um, obviously, everyone needs a beverage. Um, I'm currently drinking myself a little brew squirt, but... Alright. I need brain and I need sandbox scoundrel. Just start looping this. Am I playing this cube? Yo, that's that's dope. I fuck with it. Um, I actually want to save this really badly. Let's do this. Draw double cards here. That's a good draw. That's a really good draw. Let's just play this out. Play this next turn. This is slowly gonna build up. I would really, really, really like to hit some shadow steps. I don't quite have the mana to do brand scoundrel here, but uh, that's not ideal for this. It's fine, it's fine. No worry, be happy. This been for a pirate. I wanna shadow step this. Is shadow stepping that makes sense. Ah, how many cards do I have in hand? Eight. Let's just do this. We off one of those two. We draw three more cards. Shadow stepping this means that next turn I can do this. Into this. Into this. Into shadow step. Can't shadow step. Uh, I can Right, I can s no, yes, I can do shadow step on this, then coin, then play this, then play it again. I think that's worth it. 
Gotta just ruin the shit out of his hand. I'm all for that. And then shuffle a whole bunch of copies of, uh... I think we steal his high, his biggest minion. Yeah, we steal the biggest minion. I burn a card here, which kind of sucks. And I start stealing cards from his hand. No, I actually think against a warlock, I just go straight to the deck. I just start taking all the cards out of his deck. Um, but I do want to take the 8-8. I'm thinking the 8-8 is really, really good. Because I have a feeling he's probably playing Gul'dan. So in case I miss on stealing Gul'dan, it would be nice to, you know... At least have a portion of the deck. Okay, I might steal both and then use the other one completely to just steal 10 cards from his deck. We're down to 22 cards. That's a lot of cards. That's a perfectly fine burn. Alright, so I said this into this. I'm sorry if you heard my virtual assistant i hope this works the way i want it to work uh let's start by jacking his two highest attack minions this so this is protected the other thing i could do is shadow step the brand here but i don't really want to do that i have a draw technically without the other shadow step high odds okay we're going for this i want to go for the greedier play seems a little bit more fun Uh, I guess let's see if we hit it. Shadow step one time. Unfortunate. Uh, you. Into you. Take the top five cards of your deck. Please just disappear. Alright, I have no idea what I took. Uh, that's really good. I don't want to lose this. Alright. This one will prove very useful. Hopefully you can't kill my brand. Um I've never seen this card before, but it's pretty cool. Um maybe we draw another admiral. That could be fun. Draw the Admiral to 50-50. Nuke his deck for 16 cards. Yeah, I mean, if we nuke his deck for 16 cards, I'm pretty sure we just default to win the game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's... If, if we don't just default to win the game, we get pretty darn close. I get a 6 one here, that's fine. Uh, so now we're only nuking it for 11. Let me see, it's 8 cards left. That's fine. Ugh, not the card I wanted. I guess I could attack first. Oh, there we go. At least we partially hit. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the top five. Or I can take two cards from his hand. Oh. Nuke his deck. The faster he gets to fatigue. Oh, I mean, if I could guarantee have this hit Admiral, that'd be great. There's three cards in my deck I don't want to burn, so odds are I burn a card in my deck, which really, really sucks. Um, But hey, I don't want to burn Shadow Step, and I don't want to burn the other two Admirals. Because again, I could jack his biggest minion, which would be pretty nice. Ideally, I burn the fillet fighter. I think that's the best case scenario. Odds of that though are pretty low. Oh, it's a huge burn actually. Um, I feel like I have a lot of really dead cards in my hand, such as Theo. Uh, I don't 
want to give him any of these. I guess let's play the game where he doesn't have any more demons left in his deck. This guarantees hits a one mana admiral for next turn. Let's just go with he has no demons left in his deck. We've pulled a lot of them. Um. Yeah, we should be good. I mean, we guarantee remove the rest of his deck next turn, right? So he has no more deck. He has only what's left in hand. Okay, he has no more demons left in his deck. I'm gonna toss a blood bloom. I don't even know if now we care what's left in his deck. We know there's no demons. Is he gonna tap? Alright, we're gonna hit cards in his hand then. We're hitting cards in his hand. Uh, how do we want to do this? Do this. Let's do this. Pull two cards from his hand. Alright, perfect. Do I have room for two more cards in my hand? I do. Ooh, this is the main card I didn't want him, which is why I'm like, fuck, is it the one of card left in his deck, or do I just go and hit the hand and pray for the best? And turns out going for the hand and praying for the best was the right move to do. Anyways, we have time for one more game, so let's queue it up. Alright, a hunter. So we have to keep Tog's scheme, right? So our goal is to shuffle as many admirals technically into our deck as humanly possible. So I'm going to keep the Tog scheme. That's pretty good. We can play, That means we can play this on 5 and hopefully have Bran Admiral on 6. And this way we can get a whole bunch of copies of this, you know? Or a whole bunch of copies of uh, Admiral being a pretty good spot. Uh, let's do this here first, I guess. Almost every minion in the deck is a pirate except for the two ships, right? If I hover over this. Oh, and Brant. So there's three minions in the deck that are not pirates, so I didn't want to go for this. Also, again, odds of hitting patches is not ideal, you know? Ah, so nuking his deck, if we can survive late enough to do it, is going to be real good. The fewer cards he has in deck, the better it is for us. This is actually one of the matchups where you don't bother about the hand, and we just straight up go for deck. All we care about is hitting the deck. Um, Never bring a sword. Yeah, all we care about is hitting deck. Because if we remove both of the um, lions, or if he draws a lion and we remove one, well, there's no more targets in the deck for egg. So, yeah. We just go to hit deck, and we pray we hit double lion off the first five, and then we win the game. Thoughts? Ooh, I mean, we also have to hope, I feel, that he has a slower start. Uh, I'm gonna coin this out here. There's Bran. There's Bran, now we're only missing... An idea at least some shadow steps. Ideally. Also, no, we have to play more pirates. Uh this is what one, two, three, I attack, that's four, five. Uh, six, seven. Ah no, we're actually perfect. Wait, it's summon, not play. Yeah, if you summon. So therefore my token I get off this when I attack this turn. And this that I pull off this and my token off this get me there. Yeah, so we're going for a turn six. Ruin those guys' deck. Ah, oh, he actually hit the egg. That's really unfortunate for us. I'm going to force him to have a way to trigger it. I'm not going to bother killing it. Might be a mistake. Might not. Who knows? Not me. Y'all through! Do I just... No, I just go face here. Gold Schlager. I always imagine he's saying Gold Schlager. I think that's funnier than whatever he does say. Ah, uh, man. 
It's so weird. I very rarely record videos days in advance. It's typically only if I have really busy days coming up, and I know for a fact tomorrow I get home at midnight, and I kind of wanted to stream tomorrow, <laughs> and I'm leaving my house at 11 30 12 ish i know i just won't have a chance but that's already one lion down one lion down man i need to draw her next turn this treasure ain't been for our pirates Hey, there we go. I know he loves me, game. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll take it. All right. Ten more cards out of his deck next turn, and then the turn after, and then the turn after. Ideally, our single best top deck is uh the second Shadow Step or Shadow of Demise. Uh, second best top deck would be that right there. Uh, the reason you want the second Shadow Step is you just want to be able to Shadow Step Brand as well. And then I can take 20 cards. Leave it with 9, you know? We also hope we hit both, uh... What's it called? Card's not in there. Although I played this first, right? Yeah, I guess we test it. Does it trigger? Or do we hit the other line? Brand should attack first. Fuck, we missed in the line. Um. Alright, well. Ugh, I fucked up. I just realized now that I severely fucked up. The proper play. I guess we can attempt to draw it. Uh, oh, but we'll just do this here then. Um, the better... Th I was supposed to play this as well. And have this also on the board. This way I did one mana one for this. Next turn, but I do not. It's not ideal. Oh, I hope he drew Lion. <laughs> I actually can't hit the deck again this turn, which really, really sucks. Who knows what secrets will uncover? Ah, dick. Lucky I am here. Oh, no, I can still go off. I, if I draw the other Admiral, I can still go off next turn, which is pretty dope. Yeah, I can still go off next turn again. Yeah, because once I hit the other Lion... Oh, no, the problem is he has Brand now. I'm dead. I'm almost guaranteed dead. Because this has, like, six Death Rattles inside of it. Card, I guess. Not exactly what I wanted to see. It's not exactly what I wanted to see. The thing has to die. Alright, well. Technically, I can ruin the rest of his deck, but I don't know where that gets me. Oh, I'm dead. I think I'm beyond dead, in reality. 
Punch there, copy it again. This is 15. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh well. Oh well. Um. It sucks that we missed the other line. Well, what can you do? Sometimes you hit, sometimes you don't. It be what it be. Uh, we're getting close to completing this little part, though. Uh, we have. Uh, we got this. Um, in the bonus video, actually, is where we got this. So, so if you're wondering where we completed this, it's in the bonus video. Alright, so we're at 160 packs for the new set. Which is pretty dope. Um, it's actually on that thing. I thought, I thought there was something on my monitor, but moving it, it's still on top. Like this little, I don't know if you can notice it in the recording, but this little dot here on top of the exclamation mark. I thought there was something on my monitor. Yeah, no, it's not. I, I felt my monitor anyways, because so I was like, please don't tell me there's actually something on my monitor. Um, but anyways, Fresh Distributor nerf feels significant. It doesn't feel like it's a little baby la la fucking nothing nerf. No, it, it it hurt. I mean, we lost the first game because of it, right? We, what do we calculate? We missed out on like half the damage we did. We would have done. Um, which is huge. It did a huge amount of damage. I might have missed done it. Maybe it was 14 instead of eight or 16. But even then, that's still half his fucking health total, right? So that's a pretty substantial nerf in my opinion. Uh, I'm excited to see how that affects Demon Hunter. I have a feeling it's going to hurt Demon Hunter more than the other ones. Because I felt like always playing as a Demon Hunter, the treasure distributor was more of a problem. Because he would be bigger than against all the other decks. But yeah. Anyways, if you guys want to try an interesting take on an aggro deck that can be played fairly aggressively. You just have slightly better late game because you steal your opponent's deck. Give this deck a whirl. Um, it's really fun, actually. It's probably the most fun I've had playing an aggro deck in a long time. And yeah. Anyways, don't have much else to say. So I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys all on the next one where hopefully we get some more dubs. Alright guys? Yeah. With that being said, I will see y'all there. Peace.